हेलो ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक टू ट्यूट थेरेपी इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ डी एफ ए विच एक्सेप्ट ऑल द स्ट्रिंग्स ऑफ एटलीस्ट लेंथ इज इक्वल टू टू ओवर द एल्फाबेट ए बी नाउ टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड two criterias that is when length is equal to 2 when length is less than equal to 2 now is the criteria now is a third criteria in which we are going to study that length should be at least 2 that means greater than equal to 2 we will uh, design a dfa for this condition now as done previously we will again list the skeleton strings now the minimum string which will be accepted by a dfa is of at least length 2 that means double a double b ab and ba will be accepted by a dfa so let us try to construct a dfa based upon this choice let's draw it for double a first if i give an input a to 1 again input a to 2 it should be accepted hence it goes to the final state which is marked as 3 if input b comes to 1 again input b comes to 2 it should also be accepted therefore it reaches the final state now check for the strings ba the given condition is already fulfilled since ba is accepted the last string was ab ab has also been accepted by construction of the previously de designed structure so ab has al also been accepted now look for the strings of length more than 2 the string of length 3 is triple a the string of length 4 can be four is again five is can also be accepted six is can also be accepted seven is can also be accepted and so on the thing which i want to put uh, to point out is that the minimum criteria was that the number of a's minimum number of a's should be two the minimum num the minimum length of the string should be 2 which is being fulfilled after that no matter what either a comes or b comes everything will be accepted hence we will put a self loop to the state 3 of input a similarly if we consider a string double a b or double a double b or double a triple b or double a four times b it does not matter because the minimum length of string has already be been achieved in this the string length is 3 4 5 and 6 therefore all these strings will be accepted it does not matter how many b's come after the minimum length of 2 is achieved hence we will put a self loop on the final state if an input b is encountered now again look into this dfa very carefully that we have defined the input symbols to 
every state look at state 1 we have defined a and b to state 1 therefore we can proceed to state 2 we have defined input a and b to state 2 hence we should see for state number 3 we have again defined input a and b on state 3 since the inputs have been defined over all the three states therefore we can call that this is a DFA which accepts all the strings of at least length 2 thank you so much for watching this video in the next tutorial we'll be studying we'll be taking some more examples to design uh, more DFAs stay tuned happy learning